Hello, awesome viewers! Welcome to AC Studio. I have just received the Joy Toy Desolation Marine. The Desolation Marines were initially available as the Strike Force Agestus box set, which was released in May 2023. And it is amazing to see it being released as a Joy Toy action figure just six months, seven months after Warhammer released the Desolation Marines. And in this video, I'm going to look at the Desolation Marine with the Super Crack Rocket Launcher, which is this double chip rocket launcher here. Let's have a quick look at the box and then I will unbox it. And that's the typical Joy Toy Warhammer box. And in the back picture, we'll see all the accessories it gave you. And I don't expect too much on the Space Marine figure. This is probably the version 3. But I'm quite sure the main focus will be on the rocket launcher here and his backpack. And let's open it. So they gave you a uh, clear base again. Whoop. And it looks like this. All right. And as you can see here, they are actually attached with the cable, so you cannot actually pull them out, separate them. So you have to hold this weapon all the time for the figure. But anyway, let's put it on the figure first and see how it looks like. And on the cartridge itself, you can see what you do. You got this like ball pack, and then you got a hole here, right, in the belt. So what you do is you put it here horizontally, like that. Okay, not vertically like that, horizontally. So you just try to squeeze that into the hole. All right, make sure it doesn't come off. Uh, yep, like that. Make sure it works. Let me try. Yep, okay, done. So that's how it looks like at the back. Cool, very nice. So this is actually quite a heavy piece of, you know, uh, weapon. And what I'm trying to do is I try to put this to hold it by, I try to have this to hold it on the other hand as well, just like what they have in the box art as well. You can see how it actually hold it with the other hand, even though they did not really show that hand really clearly. But I'm trying to do that as well, because it doesn't make sense, because it's so heavy, that you know every time when I hold it up, you see, it actually fall down again, because of the uh, wrist joint. The wrist joint is strong enough, it's very tight, but the problem is because this is so heavy, and also the, uh, you know, the bullet straps here, Give it a bit of resistance, you keep, on, you keep on pulling this thing back. So what you do is you put it here, and then you push the piece fit joint as much as possible in, inside the body. And having this, pointing that way as well, so that at least this hand can hold at the bottom of that, on the bottom of that, right? So try to hold it if I can. Yep. And you hold it like that. That's it. Like that. And I'll try to push it down a little bit as well. Yep, like that. So you can still hold it with the hand at the bottom of the rocket launcher. Right, like that, cool. Yep. And the target finder or the range finder, uh, you just insert it in like that into the backpack. That's it, like that. Pretty easy. Uh, yep, and that's it. And that is how it looks like, right? Uh, together with the uh, you know, um, rocket launcher. And um, let's have a look at the uh, rocket launcher, you know, look at the details because the rest of the figure look exactly the same as a uh, typical ultramarine version 3, so I'm not going to go through that again. But at least, i quickly show you, they put the black shellering on the figure itself. Looks, you know, the same as the lieutenant, uh, powerful lieutenant here, right? So they did a good job, you know, at least they have put the uh, weathering on it. Unlike, you know, this figure itself, which I've reviewed before. So this figure looking very good. I like it. First look at the back, you know, the, uh, you know, the cartridge here. Or the uh, bullet, you know, cartridge or storage here looks looking okay. You know, the details are okay. You got a silver color and the uh, highlight, a uh, edge highlighting uh, with a light gray color on black. And you got a bit of like, I don't know, uh, bullets or straps details inside. Uh, nothing really special about this, uh, but the seam line or the join line is very obvious. And then they got a bit of details on the bullet straps here. Looks looks good, and it seems like they put the black wash on it as well. 
uh, even though this is a silver color, but I think it looks all right. This is soft plastic, not very soft, but okay. You get a bit of resistance, can't try to pull the hand back, but that's okay, that's not too bad. You can see the hand is still holding the same position. And then uh, you got the uh, cables, you know, the wires. So you got like highlighting on the cables and this red cable as well. And it is also long enough so that it doesn't really, you know, restrict the movement of the arms and stuff like that. So I really like it. It's, it is longer and it looks good as well. Good. And then here, what you can see is the handle itself. You can see here the handle. Um, yeah, it's alright. The details are alright. You got these, like, you know, uh, valve, the connection details here as well. Got this here. I think it's a. I haven't really done any research on this figure yet, but I think this is a rocket, kind of like small rocket launcher thing at, at the bottom as well. And it is painted black as well, and then you got this like grey highlighting on the edges. Yep, not bad. And then you got this white colour uh, on the missile ro or rockets here, but you got the black dots here, so it's a finishes issue. Otherwise, yeah, looking alright, the details alright. The rocket launcher itself, see, the rocket launcher. The details look good. You got this like, you know, yellow and black warning strip. The yellow painting is okay. It's, it's not too good. You know, it's all, all over the places as well. The edge is not very clear. Um, looks like it is spray painted, but it wasn't painted really well. Uh, anyway, and then here you got this, I don't know, a target finder or laser range finder or something like that. Tube of the rocket launcher here. You can see this little, they got these two little doors here. And then you got this hinge here, right? That means you can open up like that. So, whoops. Right, cool, like that. Very nice, isn't it? And then they gave you two missiles or whatever you call it, projectile, you know? And um, yeah, it looks like that. Uh, just a really typical projector. And then they, what you do, you slot inside like that. And then you slot the other one inside as well, like that. Yep. Uh, just like that, you know, it doesn't shoot, it doesn't have any mechanism that allows you to shoot it out just like kids toy, it is an adult toy, not, not going to do that, but this is for enjoyment I guess, you know, and a bit of details and you can take it all like that, you know, and uh, yep, let's put it back again, uh, yep, like that, cool, and then you close the uh, doors, like that, like that, cool, like that, so you got two rockets inside the launcher. So when you need to launch it, you need to open it, like that, and shoo, shoot, like that. It is a little bit tricky for me to, you know, uh, judge whether you should get this figure or not, or it is worthwhile to get this figure. I mean, at the end of the day, the figure is a you know, typical version free Space Marine. But the Desolation Marine is a new unit recently released by Games Workshop. So, you know, for those who are really interested at the latest, you know, release, yes, you know, you should get this figure. You know, it just got a different weapon. Uh, and for me, I have been, you know, collecting one or two different kind of like uh, Marines with uh, different weapons, like the melter gun, you know, the plasma gun, you know, now I have the rocket launcher. And I have been only getting one of our three figures that, you know, Jota release on each different Space Marine with, you know, a different types of weapons. So I have to get it, you know, no matter what. But, you know, after looking at this figure, I do reckon that this figure have a very unique weapon. And the weapon is, the weapon's really interesting. Um, you know, Joy Toy gave you the uh, projectile, you know, in the, in, the, in the rocket launcher. So that make it looks a little bit different, you know. You can also make dioramas out of it. You can even scratch wheel, you know, the you know projector shooting out from rocket launcher and making smoke out of it. You know, some people make smoke of cotton and stuff like that. So yeah, I mean, this will give you a lot of creativity and you know, really interesting display. I'm reasonably happy with this figure, even though I've got a lot of space mine already. But this figure definitely give you a new addition, you know, something different compared to the rest of the army. Now comes to the end of this video. Thank you for watching this video and I will speak to you in the next video. Bye for now.